Hey, it's Steve Spangler from The Spangler Effect and another demo that I want to show you from the collection that uh, is great when we're talking about energy. All right, so here's what you're going to need. It's, it's going to be a, a searching mission to find some of these things. Uh, some a little bit easier to find than others. These are steel ball bearings and I got these size steel ball bearings. They're great because I can hit back and forth and be able to show kind of... Uh, uh, of the effect here, but we're talking about energy. Now we have the energy of motion, right? We have uh, kinetic energy, but kinetic energy can get turned into uh, heat energy. And so I wanna be able to show that at the point that those two hit each other, while the steel ball bearings are not hot to the touch, at the moment that they hit, it it's very hot. And, and how can you measure that? I don't have a probe or anything like that to measure it, but I do have this. Let me throw on safety glasses and I just have a regular piece of, uh, of paper. So let me put the paper here on the stand. And now what I'm gonna do is this, is I'm gonna put the paper in between and then smash the sphere. So watch this. Now if you're here in the studio, you can actually smell it burning right now. There is, these holes that you see in the paper here are actually burnt. Take a look at this. You can see that there's burn marks around the paper when you when you smell the paper. So there was enough energy that was there at the moment that these two collided to be able to burn a hole in the piece of paper. I've often thought uh, uh, to try different kinds of paper, so tissue paper, and I would I encourage you to try tissue paper. Uh, uh, there could be a rice paper that you try, different types of, uh, of typing paper or whatever to give you the best effect. But it is amazing, especially when you're teaching that energy to be able to look at it and to use the demonstration to be able to show kinetic energy being able, and that collision being able to be turned into heat. Well, you can use that for now something else that's a really, really cool demonstration. So let me show you. Yeah, this is the hardest thing to find. It's one of those that I know that chemistry teachers searched forever. When you'd find them at a teaching convention, people would buy them up as fast as they could. This looks like just a steel ball bearing. It's not. It's a very high-density iron sphere. <clears throat> and uh, you can see that it has rusted. So if you take a look at it here, you can see the rust. I have tried everything. You can't really take a steel ball bearing and try to rough it up and rust it and to get it to work. This, this is a high density steel. And so the place that I found them that actually worked is um, here in Colorado. So I'm located in Colorado. We have uh, mines, right? So they were mining for gold, mining for other metals. These spheres were put in tumblers to crush rocks. So as it would tumble around, these would tumble around like this and they would crush rocks. And so um, you want to be on the lookout for just um, uh, old cannonballs, for example, they say. Uh, maybe a smaller, this is smaller, it's not a cannonball, but uh, that steel ball. Here's what you can do with it. You want the iron on the outside, super, super important, because now we're going to use this chemical reaction and the heat to be able to activate it. So we want the iron oxide, that's the rust, but we also want aluminum. And if you're a chemistry teacher, you have some chemistry background, you're going iron oxide and aluminum ingredients for a thermite reaction, bingo. Thermite reaction is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna take this now and wrap this in the aluminum foil. So when they typically did the thermite reaction, it was a mixture of aluminum powder and iron oxide. Then they'd have a magnesium strip that goes inside and you'd light that. Pretty dangerous, that thing takes off and it have to drip into a, a sand bucket down below and lots of stories about thermite reactions. But this will give you now just um, a nice little explosion. I'm just gonna try this one, hopefully this guy will work. So I've got my safety glasses on, watch what happens when we hit, watch. Bam, do you see that, is that beautiful? So look at that. So we're using, and it's just a glancing hit. Oh, that was a good one. Glancing hit. Oh, and you get this great reaction. Look, we've blown the holes in the, uh, the aluminum here, just as we did with the paper, but you also get that chemical reaction there. And oh, good, keep going. And that, oh, that was a great one. And a release of that energy, which is a great way to be able to show the thermite reaction. And just a, a, a cool demonstration to have in your uh, in your collection anyway. All right, so this, I could do this all day long. You don't need to see me do this all day long, but as always, please subscribe to our channels, to Six Science, to Spangler Science TV. Find us on all of the social channels. Uh, join us over on Instagram for sure. Join the conversation on Facebook or on Twitter. And as always, the write-up for most of these demonstrations are sitting over at stevespanglerscience.com. Keep making science fun.